Hi everyone, in this video, you will learn how to solve multi-step equations. It means equations which have variables on both sides of the equation. So there are three simple steps to solve these type of equations. There is nothing complicated. So the first step, we need to move all the variable terms to one side of the equation and all the constant term to the other side. And then we need to combine like terms and last step is to uh, isolate the variable and solve it. So let's do some examples. <clears throat> Here is the first one. I have 5x minus 4 equals 4x minus 2. I have variables on both sides of the equation. So the first thing we need to do is to move all the variable terms to one side. So let's move. I have 5x on the left side. I have 4x on the right side. I want to move this 4x on the right side and move it to the left side. So on the left side, I have 5x. And if I move 4x to the left side, it becomes a negative 4x. And I have on the right side, I have a negative 2, which is, which is a constant term. And I need to move this constant term from left side to right side as well. So I have negative 4. If I want to move this negative 4, which is a constant term, to the right side, it becomes positive 4. Okay, so the first step is done. We moved all the constant on the all the variable terms to one side and all the constant terms to the other side. So step one is done. Let's move on to step number two, combine like terms. So 5x, 4x, we have to combine them. It's just <clears throat> x equals negative 2 plus 4. That's just positive 2. So step number two is done. And the last step we have to isolate, which is already isolated x. So this is our answer, x equals 2. That's our answer. So, let's do more examples. Here is the next one. 9 minus 3x equals 12 minus 5x. Again, the first thing we need to do is to move all the uh, variable terms to one side and all the constant terms to the other side. So I have uh, negative 3x here. I have negative 5x on the right side. So I want to move this negative 5x to the left side. Let's do that. And then I want to move this constant term to the other side. So on the left side, I have negative 3x. If I move negative 5x from right side to left side, it becomes positive 5x. This is my left side equals on right side. I have this constant term. I write it down 12. And then I'm going to move this, this 9 to the right side of the equation. It's positive 9. If I move it to the right side, it becomes negative 9. And now we have to combine like terms. I have negative 3x plus 5x. That is just positive 2x on the left equals on the right side of the equation. I have 12 minus 9, which is 3. So 2x equals 3. And now step number 3, I have to isolate x. How can I do that? The x has a coefficient of 2, so I can divide both sides by 2. So this 2 cancels this 2. So we have x isolated by itself on left side equals 3 over 2. This is our answer. All right. <clears throat> How about this set of equations? We have brackets. 3x minus 4 minus x minus 2 equals 16. So when you have brackets in, in, in an equation, the first thing we need to do is to get rid of those brackets. By We can get rid of those brackets using distributive property. So if I can distribute this 3 into this bracket and that negative into this bracket, so I can get rid of the brackets. So let's do that. I have to distribute this into this bracket. So 3 times x and then 3 times negative 4. And then we have to distribute this negative into this bracket as well, the first term and second term. So let's write that down. 3 times x is just 3x. 3 times negative 4, that's negative 12. Minus times x is minus x. And negative times a negative 2, that's positive 2. So plus 2. These all are on the left side of the equation. And on the right side, we have 16. So now we got rid of the brackets. So we can follow those three steps now. 
we have to move all the variable terms to one side and all the constant terms to the other side. So on the left side, I already have my variable terms. Let's just write them down. I have 3x and then I have minus x on the left side equals on the right side, I have 16. And I have to move these two constant terms to the other side. So if I move this negative two to the other side, it becomes positive, sorry, negative 12. If I move it to the other side, it becomes positive 12. And I have positive two on the left side. I'm going to move it to the right side. It becomes negative two. And now we have to come by like terms. 3x minus x. That's just 2x equals 16 plus 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. 10 plus 16, that's 26. I have 2x equals 26. I have to isolate x. So I have to divide by the coefficient. So 2x divided by 2. And we have to do the same thing to the right side as well. So this two cancels that two. I have x equals 26 divided by two, which is 13. This is our answer. Let's do two more examples. So here is this one, six bracket, three x minus five equals 15 x minus 21. Again, we have bracket, so we have to get rid of that bracket by using distributive property. So let's distribute this into the bracket. 6 times 3x, that's 18x. 6 times negative 5, that's negative 30, equals 15x minus 21. Now we have to move all the uh, variable terms to one side and all the constant terms to the other side. I want to move this 15x to the plus side. So I have 18x minus 15x equals, on the right side, I have negative 21. And I need to move this negative 30 to the right side, it becomes positive 30. So now we need to combine like terms, 18x minus 15x, that's just 3x equals negative 21 plus 30, that's positive 9. Then I have to isolate x, I need x by itself, so 3x divided by 3, 9 divided by 3, this 3 cancels this, I have x on the left side, and on the right side, 9 over 3 is just 3, this is our answer. How about this one? Three bracket x minus two equals negative four bracket x plus four minus six. Again, we have brackets. The first thing we need to do is to get rid of those brackets using distributive property. So I have to distribute this into this bracket and I have to distribute this negative four into this bracket. <laughs> three times x is three x. Three times negative two, that's negative six equals negative four times x, that's negative four x, and negative four times positive four, that's just negative 16. And then we have a negative six. Okay, so now we have to move all the variable terms to one side and all the constant terms to the other side. It doesn't matter if you move it to left or right, but because I have a negative four x here, is bigger than 3x, so I just want to move this to the left side, so I will end up with a positive x. So on the left side, I have 3x. I want to move this negative 4x to the left side. It becomes positive 4x. So positive 4x equals, on the right side, I have negative 16. I have a negative 6. And then I have this constant term on the left side. I have to move it to the right side. It's negative 6, I move it to the right. It becomes positive 6. Now we have to combine like terms or collect like terms. 3x plus 4x, that's 7x, equals negative 16 minus 6 plus 6. So this minus 6 plus 6, they cancel each other out. And I have negative 16 on the right side. I have to get rid of this 7, so I have to divide both sides by 7. So 7x divided by 7, that's just x on the left side. On the right side, I have negative 16 over 7. Yes, that is our answer. So thank you for watching.